Hey everybody, it's Brian of the Weekend Cruiser where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend and I'm here on the Allure of the Seas inaugural weekend sailing. I even got a group together. If you wanna to learn more about our groups, sign up on the link below. But the Allure of the Seas is a beautiful Oasis class ship. Now she's gonna be a little bit unrenovated compared to her sister. So if you're looking like to like, other ships are probably gonna be a little bit nicer. Doesn't mean that the Allure is a bad ship. It's just a little less renovated than some of the others. To give you some of the stats, she's gonna be coming in at about 225,000 gross tons and her maximum capacity of guest is almost 6,800 with about 2,200 crew members on board to support it. So you're looking at quite the amount of people that she can carry around and do these weekend cruises with. So if you're looking at coming on a weekend cruise with the Lord of the Seas, learn the floor plan. Watch this full ship tour video to show you where everything is at. You're only gonna be here for three or four days. You're gonna to wanna to be knowing exactly where you need to go so that you maximize your short period of time on such a large ship. So let's go on into a full ship walking tour of the Allure of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. So welcome to deck number four aft. So one thing that you're gonna to come to appreciate on the Allure of the Seas is the markers of where you're at on the ship. So we are deck four aft. So when you think of aft, you always wanna think of where your restaurants are. Make sure that you learn the ship. By watching this video, you're gonna learn a lot about it. But we are gonna start off here in the dining room. So this is your main dining room called the Grand. Good morning. We're gonna take a look in here. It is a really well done venue for a large ship. And then we've got some seating area in here. So if you need to wait on getting a table assignment or there's something like that, you'll be able to come in here, wait and hang out. I'm gonna come all the way up here. You see that it's, it's still a good size main dining room, but they've kept the concept of the multi-tier, which I really like. Because when this is illuminated, it is beautiful. It's still, this probably feels a little bit dated. I like the older school um, crystals that they have in here, but this is still not a bad look. And if you notice that mural, I guess it is, or painting in the backdrop is framed um, and it is massive. It is a three story picture, but this is where you're gonna come for your main dining room experience on a short cruise. I always recommend people not do the my time dining. Just go with the set time. It's gonna be so much easier. You'll know when you come in here you'll know that your shows are lined up at the correct time and you will enjoy yourself better than having to wait in line, figure out how to get a reservation. But if you are in My Time Dining, you can go into the app, go to the menu for My Time, and then you're going to just simply make a reservation if the app is not buggy and working for you. That is always recommended is have a reservation. Just showing up, you're probably gonna have to wait in line a little bit. You're gonna have a good amount of specialty restaurants here. So this one's gonna be an upcharge. It is a Zumi, so it is gonna be a hibachi grill. So if you wanna come with your family, some friends, maybe a celebration, great spot to be able to hang out and they put on an excellent show here. Your friendly maitre d's glad to make those reservations for you. And then you're gonna have the sushi, su sushi, the sushi, sushi section over here. We've got a sushi bar, as well as some places that you can sit down and eat. Um, this is one of my favorite restaurants on Royal Caribbean's fleet. I think that it is really well done and you can do it a la carte so it's not necessarily as expensive as some of the other um, cruises are or excuse me, some of the other specialty restaurants. The casino is open we're in Coco Cay today so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna pop out on the other side of deck four forward. All right we're now walking out of the casino this is a hallway that has studio B on the left hand side so if you're wondering why there's just this random hallway it helps us connect between the casino and the forward portion, portion of the ship because you've got Studio B in there. That is the ice skating rink that is here on Allure of the Season. It's gonna be really multi-purpose. They're gonna do a lot of events in there, including we went to go see um, Battle of the Sexes last night as well as the Crazy Quest. So I'll see if we can swing in there real quick just to show you what that space looks like. You've also got here, well, I'll come back to that in a second. Let's swing into Studio B first. I might have to get creative on opening some of these doors, so let's see how this works out. No. So they are setting up for something. They've got the ice show over here. So that is the ice rink. You've got the Zamboni that's running. But you see it is a good size space, but it will fill up. 
So if you want to come in here, especially if you want to get a good seat, which is this front section right here, this is the front section of all of the shows that they're going to do. That's the primary seating. Make sure that you're coming a little bit early so that you can get those good seats. They are going to have a few bars in here as well. But with all the people that are in there, I would say if you can grab a drink prior to coming in, make sure you are doing that. All right, swinging back out over here on the right hand side. And if you're familiar with other Oasis class ships, you can see a few differences in this one. This is the Comedy Live. So it looks like it may be closed as well. Peek around the curtain, the coast is clear. So this is Comedy Alive. This is where you're gonna come for your comedy shows. If you wanna know what the most difficult show is to get into on the ship, you are in it. It is Comedy Alive. You see that this does not seat that many people. So make sure that you are getting reservations to come in. Reservations are key. There's 6,000 of your closest friends on here. You're gonna make sure that if you, there's a show you wanna see, you get a reservation for it. See if I can come into Blaze over here. So this is your nightclub on board the ship. This is a spot that I haven't come to. I'm not normally a late night owl, but it is a cool venue, cool space. There's plenty of seating in here. So if you're looking to grab a drink later in the day, we've got plenty of bartenders and they're gonna have your dance floor over here on the backhand side. Looks like they have it set up where you can also do some meetings in here if you wanted to with those extra chairs, but that's gonna be your dance floor. You see there's LED lights up top, so they can really change the space up to make it look super good. Coming back outside. Something new that Royal Caribbean has started to do here is they have two casinos. So I walked through the other casino and then bopped out on the other side on the forward section of the ship. This is the non-smoking casino. So this is something that they've turned these spaces into. It used to be the jazz club, wasn't really well attended and they said, hey, we hear a lot of people saying they want a no smoking section in the casino. So you've got a much smaller, yet still a non-smoking casino um, that is on this ship now. So you've got a couple of different options if you're coming on board for some gaming. Let's see if I can swing into the theater real quick and show you what this looks like. It is massive, by the way. So here's the theater on board the Allure of the Seas. They did really good. Somebody's practicing over there. So I won't spend too much time in here. Let's just give you the setup, what it looks like. It is huge. Again though, if you're coming in here to see one of the big production shows and you want a good seat, make sure you're coming early. There is also a balcony, so there's plenty of seating. You do need a reservation for it, but I will say that the reservations weren't really checked very well for the main theater. One thing they are changing is for the comedy show, which I said was very, very difficult to get into. We stood in line last night for 45 minutes and did not make it. They're gonna do a show tomorrow, so I hope that that sticks and they're gonna do that show in the theater. Reservations not required. So I hope that they continue to do that as they see the popularity on the weekend cruises for the comedians. So we're now walking up to deck five forward and I'm actually gonna walk one more floor up after I pop outside show you what this looks like. This is the walking track on board the Allure of the Seas. It's not my favorite. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It is kind of dire. It's very industrial-like. It echoes a lot and there's only one or two places you can sit to have a view of any kind. But what we're gonna do, okay there, we're gonna come up to deck six and I'll show you why that's gonna be the case here in a little bit when we swing over into the promenade. But coming up to deck six, you're gonna come up to the Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. Which as I give out a breath talking and walking the stairs at the same time, probably need to go visit that. But this is gonna be your gym at sea, as well as your spa. One thing the Oasis class has that others do not is the Vitality Cafe. So if you want a smoothie, you want coffee, because some health food over there. They're gonna have some really neat options. You can use drink vouchers and your drink package over there as well. Coming back a little bit, you're gonna have your Vitality at Sea Spa. And you're gonna have your fitness center through here. That is a gym, I'm not gonna show that to you. If you're interested in the gym, you can check that out. I might get a chance to do a full tour of the gym here in a little bit, and I'll post the link if I'm able to make it in there. 
But the highlight of this is really Vitality Cafe. They do traditionally keep protein powders and things like that as well. So if you want a healthy drink, snack, smoothie, that's gonna be your go-to spot. And so when you're looking at, is the drink package worth it? If you're coming on board an Oasis class ship, consider how much of those you're gonna be taking in because it'll give you a little bit more bang for your buck, but it might mean you're making some healthy decisions and not drinking as much alcohol. Could work out well. All right, I'm gonna come back down here to deck five now. And the reason that I did that, when I pop into the promenade, you'll see, deck six does not connect. <laughs> so if you wanna to go to the gym, you've gotta go up to deck six, but that's the only place that you can go to. It does not lead you back into the promenade here. So this is the Royal Promenade on board the Allure of the Seas, and it is enormous. I mean, the first time I stepped foot on an Oasis-class ship, it felt like we walked into a mall almost, like the Mall of Americas. There is a cut through here, so if you wanna get down to what's called Entertainment Place, that's where we just were, where you have the comedy show, you've got Blaze, your nightclub, that's gonna be down there. Coming over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna have where your karaoke's at, and it's also a sports bar. So if you wanted to watch a game, this is where you're gonna to come to do that. And as this is a weekend cruise out of Florida, that is a Miami game in there. The Dolphins are playing today. So that's where you see everybody watching the show. Coming back up here a little bit, I'm gonna swing back over to Boleros. So if you were into Latin music, Latin dancing, Latin drinks, this is gonna be your spot. And I'd say it's probably becoming one of my favorite bars on board the ship. You have an amazing dance floor over there. It is a little bit smaller of a dance floor, but you're gonna have a, always a good band, lively band going on to keep you entertained with some good drinks here as well. Coming back out, you'll start going into the shopping section. So you've got the shop over there. That's where you can get Royal Caribbean logo items, Solera, you can do your perfumes. And then on the other side, you're gonna have your regalia fine jewelry. So if you want some fancy jewelry pieces, that's gonna be the spot for you. You've also got Sorrento's, a crowd pleaser, and it has saved many people's lives, especially in the afternoon. They've got some good seating here, though it does fill up. If you're coming at peak times, you're gonna see that there can be a line. You've got your Voom, Voom lady over here, so if you have questions on your internet, she is your go-to. She was glad to help you out and figure out what's going on with your phone. Why is it not working? You've got your port merchants over here. So if you want to buy your cigarettes or alcohol, you can do that. And you've got your English pub, which is a staple on Royal Caribbean ships called the Bow and Stern. This one is more wide open than some of the other ones, but sticks to the dark wood concepts and colors. And I really like the artwork on the ship, by the way. So if you're checking that out or you're into art on the ship when you come, make sure you're looking at all that on Allure of the Seas. Coming back down, you've got a staircase here that will lead you up to the schooner bar. That is where a band plays, musicians perform, and I think that this is just a really cool spot to come and hang out. Even though these uh, bars are not open right now, it's a great spot to sit and people watch. You've got the cafe promenade over here. That is my favorite spot where I go and hang out with everybody that works there and get my caffeinated espresso drinks. And coming back over here to the left, you're gonna have your next cruise office. So if you're looking at savings, you see you can get up to $600 savings. If you're doing a long sailing in a very nice suite, you're gonna be well taken care of. Here on the right, you have the underside of the rising tide bar. So it's a little bit loud here, apologies for the water, but that water, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, is actually shooting up and then it is coming back down to the ground here. It is not running right now because everybody's on Coco K, okay, but it does run and it takes about 15 minutes to go from this deck here, which is deck five, up to deck seven. You've got your collection if you're into bags and pocketbooks. And you're gonna have your guest services, guest relations over here on the right, where they are more than glad to help you out. And they always have a ton of people there. As there's, you know, again, like 6,000 some people here, they have plenty of folks that work over there. Coming over here to the left, I'll show you the champagne bar. I think there's some people playing cards. Oh, well, they may have left but this is a, another good bar that you can come hang out at. I'll say that it is a little bit loud in here, it echoes. So if you're with a group, which I am on this one, um, not the great best meeting spot, simply because it was echoey. You've also got the water out here that is falling that gives you that background noise. 
that I find a little bit distracting. But if you want a more sophisticated drink, the Champagne Bar is gonna be a great spot for that, whether it's a martini, you don't have to get just champagne there, but they will have limited beer options. So back when I used to drink, don't anymore, I would actually leave the Champagne Bar, go down to the English pub, and that's where I would grab um, my beer from so that I could come back into the Champagne Bar because I was never the liquor person. Over here, you have the Focus Gallery. So brand new on this cruise, you see that you've got your screens here where you can go through and see what pictures you've took. Brand new on this sailing, I've never seen it before. Uh, maybe it's just new to me since this is a new ship for me or newer ship for me, but you can do it on the app now. So as soon as your pictures load, you will automatically see it on your Royal Caribbean app. So make sure you're downloading that if you do not already have it. You're also gonna have your short excursions desk. So if you signed up to do something in Coco Cay, you signed up to do something in Nassau. Those are the only two ports that this ship is going to be going to for a while. That's going to be the place that you're going to go to do that. Coming over here, you've got your schooner bar. This is a fan favorite. It's probably one of my favorites as well. You've got a good bar over there, great martinis. You've got a piano man. That is not your piano man. That's crew staff there. They're probably getting ready for trivia. They do that here as well. In addition to the piano man, the sing-alongs, there's all sorts of fun events that they do there. Coming over here, this is also where your loyalty ambassador is gonna be. So if you have questions about your crown and anchor status, you wanna put something in the suggestion box, you can come and do that in here. They're more than glad to help you out. If you need a pen, maybe you're earning a crystal block on the sailing, that's where you're gonna to go to make sure that that is happening for you. And again, I think one thing that Royal Caribbean does so good is they give you plenty of maps of where are you? This is a huge ship but look at all the detail on how you can find where you were going. It makes learning this large of a ship, and she is a big ship to be doing weekend sailings. It makes it so much easier that you can just stop and be like, okay, where am I at? Where am I going? And it's gonna walk you there. So I am hugely appreciative of that. Coming outside, oh, the door opens on this side. We're gonna come out to the boardwalk. Now this is outside. So if it starts to rain, you're in luck. They normally will put like some umbrellas over here in the corner. You got some fun mirrors. Hey everybody, I don't know if these are gonna show through correctly. Oh, look, it's small Brandon. So you've got the circus kind of vibe that is out here. So it's a neat spot to come hang out, especially when the weather is good. And let me actually focus on the right hand side. So you've got boardwalk donuts. So if you wanna grab a donut, that is what they're gonna have there in the shelves. Um, and their donuts, I've heard amazing things about them. I've not had one from here, but I've heard good things. You're also gonna have cups and scoops. That's where you're gonna go to get your ice cream. You do have to pay an upcharge for that, but they've got multiple flavors that you can choose from. If you wanna come into the arcade, so parents, pro tip here, make sure you limit how much money your kids can take out because there is no limit to what they can do unless you set it. So I've definitely heard from a few parents where Kids, they enjoyed themselves. They bought a lot of games um, and it cost a lot of money. So just be on the safe side there. You're gonna have Sabor, which is a restaurant that I've never really been to too terribly much. It is the tequila bar and Mexican restaurant or Latin restaurant, I should say, on board. So if you're interested in especially tequilas, they're gonna have plenty of options for you to come and check out. It is also an upcharge and part of the specialty dining program. You're gonna have the tequila bar over here. So if you're interested in sitting out here and enjoying some of the nice weather, that's where you're gonna go. And you've got a kid's section where kids can come out here and play. If you've been paying attention to the icon that's gonna be coming out, the icon of these, everybody's talking about it. This entire boardwalk section is gonna be dedicated to families and be a family neighborhood. So they're taking a little bit different approach on it. You're now back here at the Aqua Theater. This is by far the best show on board this ship. Make sure you are coming to the Aqua show. They're gonna be jumping from all the way up there into water all the way down here. Make sure you're checking that out. Do show up early. So if you wanna come see the Aqua show, even if you have reservations, be here 30 minutes early, get a good seat. If you're in the front, you're gonna get wet. And you see that there's some wood seats and then there's some more um, normal seats. If you want a normal seat like I do, you need to especially show up even earlier. And you're also gonna have rock climbing walls over here. So if you look up, you'll see your rock climbing walls and you've got your aqua theater suites on the right hand side. I'll link out to um, a video that I made of a two bedroom aqua suite over there. 
It is a beautiful star classroom, so it's gonna come with everything included on it, including the Genie that you get here. So if you're looking for a high-end experience that is super easy with everything included, that's gonna be what you wanna do. You got Johnny Rockets on this ship. Now, I am not a Johnny Rockets fan, but they have amazing milkshakes. And on Oasis class ships, but this might actually be all ships, definitely on Oasis class ships, they serve breakfast out here, which is included. As always, there are things that you can buy that are gonna cost a little bit more, but they do give you the option um, to come and eat here, and not many people would do that. You've got the Star Pier here, which is another one of the shops on board for clothing. You've got your Candy Beach, so if you have a sweet tooth, you can come hang out in here, grab some candy. And you've got Pinwheels, which is gonna be your children's gift shop. So if you wanna buy some items for a kid that is with you, or maybe one that you left at home, you decided to go cruising without them, I don't blame you. Um, you can buy them something to say, I'm back, don't, you know, it's okay. So you've got the boardwalk, which is the dog house. This is where they're gonna serve hot dogs, bratwurst, they're gonna have sauerkraut, all the fixings that you could want, they're gonna have those here. Coming back into the main ship, that concludes the tour of the lower level. So everything that's common that is, I'll call it inside, are on these floors. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna walk back in and I'm gonna go up the elevator. So if we look at where things are on the ship, they're a little bit oddly placed, but I want you to understand or follow along with me here. So what we're gonna do now, we are here. So we're gonna simply shoot up, we're gonna go into Dazzles, we're gonna go to the library, the Crown Lounge, and then we're gonna come back upstairs to where all of your outdoor space is. So I'm gonna fast forward through me walking the stairs because if I'm talking and doing stairs, I will give out a breath. <laughs> that is how this works. Pro tip though, if you are coming up the stairs, make sure you're following these circle signs. It'll tell you what is on the floor. So you don't have to memorize it. Again, they do a great job of just telling you what's around here. So like I'm now on deck eight. And this is gonna say that, hey, I've got Dazzles over here and I've got Central Park, in addition to some lobby elevators and some staterooms. So coming into Dazzles, got it blocked for, it looks like a private function, but I don't see anybody right now. This is your music venue. So if you're looking at having an evening of live music, of sitting and enjoying, they do have a dance floor here though. It's not always a well-attended dance floor, but they do have one. And beautiful view of the back of the ship too. The, the glass here, I don't know if it is glass, it's maybe plexiglass, but you can't really see out very good outside. But at night, this is the happening spot. This is where people come to enjoy the live music, enjoy dancing. You see that there's also a balcony upstairs. That's traditionally where I hang out. It's got its own bar up there as well. So it is a good spot. Coming back out of Dazzles. So on this floor, you're also gonna have Central Park. One of my favorite places on the ship. If I'm hanging out somewhere, Central Park is normally on my mind as a good go-to option. And I'll show you why. I mean, number one, it's outdoors. When it turns into nighttime, which I'm not gonna show you on this video, but when it's nighttime here, it's well lit up, it's beautiful, super pretty. But you've got some tables out here, you've got some chess, checkers, backgammon. You're also gonna have restaurants and shops. So on the right hand side here, you're gonna have 150 Central Park. And over on the left, you're gonna find Chops Grill. It is the classic Chops Grill that you'll see on other ships. 150 on the other hand, 150 Central, is only found on Oasis and maybe Quantum Class ships. You don't see that on all of them. And a lot of people say that 150 is their favorite restaurant. So if you wanna do a specialty, you want to pay a little bit more, that's gonna be a good place. A lot of people like it, especially for special occasions. Here's your rising tide bar. So if you want to go up and down, this will take you from deck seven down to deck five. It takes about 15 minutes to do that. And you go through those doors, you can sit. It is a bar, so it is a rising tide bar. So you can drink, have some cocktails while you do it. It's actually quite fun, do it at least once. Chops has some outdoor seating over there, which I'm just calling out because I love coming on a cruise ship and sitting outside even if I'm at special, specialty dining. You've got the trellis bar over here. So this is a fan favorite of many. This ship, specifically Allure, doesn't have a lot of seating for the trellis bar you see, but it is a great spot. Again, it's beautiful out here when it's decorated. 
it is a good spot to come and hang out. And I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but they pipe in um, crickets, they pipe in birds to make it feel very natural. But all these plants that you're seeing, they're real, they're alive. Um, and they have somebody that comes and takes care of all of these, which is just mind blowing to me that they have an arborist on board. Looking back over here, this is a section where in the evenings especially, you'll have a guitarist, a you know, band of some kind. There's normally somebody playing out here, so if you wanna come and relax, this is gonna be just the, probably the lowest key place that you can come to. You've got Park Cafe over here, and it's probably locked, or not. So here is Park Cafe. Just gonna peek around the corner. It has a coffee shop. This is a lot of places. This is a fan favorite for breakfast as well. They do have coffee over there. They're gonna have grab and go sandwiches, roast beef, and they're gonna have a salad bar. So if you're looking at, you know, something that's just easy to grab for breakfast, for lunch, this is a cool spot. They've got great seating outside as well. So if you wanna grab that, come sit out here, you can do that. You've got Giovanni's table over here, not to be construed with Giovanni's kitchen, which is a little bit more casual. This is gonna be your more formal restaurant. And I'll peek in here real quick. I see somebody working, so I think I can look. So here's what Giovanni's table looks like. How are you? It is a good spot and one of my favorites as well. I do like Italian food. Interestingly, I used to not like Italian food that much, um, but I have learned that it's actually a thing that I enjoy. Coming around this way, and then I'll show you the other side here. It's kind of tough with this split floor plan they have. You've got vintages. Vintages serves food, by the way. So if you want to get something like small bites, you're going to be able to get that from vintages in here. The bar is also going to have your specialty wines. So if you're looking for, you know, some kind of a, a fancy wine, a special wine, maybe, this is going to be the place where you're going to find that at. Don't expect that what, everything that is served here that you're going to find in other locations. Sometimes they do meet and greets in here. This may be, you know, where you meet some people. It's a really cool, relaxing hangout, hangout spot. Fast forwarding to the other side. Watch your step here. Cruise ships all, you all have tons of random steps. Make sure you're watching out for those. You have the main entrance to Central Park and you're gonna have some shopping, coach, prints, and I think there's a picture studio over there as well. There are some umbrellas, so if it does start to rain, you see they do have a few umbrellas, but if a lot of people go out there, that's not gonna last very long. All right, so we're now in Deck eight forward. So I've got to bounce back because you see there's nothing else right here. We're going to bounce back to the other side. We're going to come out on deck 11 aft or the actually that's more probably midship where we're going to look at the Crown Lounge, the old Diamond Club. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back on deck 11 in the midship or aft section of the boat. The ship, oh, look at me slipping up. But I just want to show you this picture. I love it. How to be in the moment and then how to be in the moment after that. I think that that is a lesson we all could learn. Coming down here, you're gonna have, first of all, you're gonna have your library. So if you look at the map, it looks like you have to go through the library to get to the Crown Lounge. That is not the case. You just look in here and you see it. It is probably one of the more sparsely decorated libraries that's out there. But you see there's still tons of books here. So if you get tired of reading a book while you're on the ship, you don't wanna read it anymore, you finish it, you can leave it in your stateroom and they'll bring it in here. So it's like a donation to us future cruisers in the past. Used to, a long time ago, and they were doing a um, chef's table. The chef's table is on the other side of that door. So you would come to the library to hang out and wait for um, your chef's table to start. But we're gonna come into the newly rebranded Crown Lounge, AKA the Diamond Lounge. I think that it will always be called Diamond Lounge. I hear people say, I'm going to the Diamond Lounge. Stick your card in and these doors are automatic. I didn't realize that and got bopped when I first tried to walk in here. So you're gonna have your diamond concierges here as well. So if you need assistance while you're cruising, somebody to help you out, this is the spot you're gonna to come to do that. And I thought it was just neat that they have restrooms in here too. So if you need to use the restrooms, they'll have the ability for you to do that. And they're probably a little nicer, a little bit more clean, but everybody's favorite, the coffee machine. And they've got a bar set up back there as well. You do need to use your drink vouchers these days, but it is a beautiful spot. There's a second floor to it as well. So if you're looking at um, coming in here and it's full, go upstairs to the second floor. There's even more seating up there. 
that I'm not going to show you for this tour, but know that it's up there and it is available to you. You do have to press the button. Again, these are automatic doors, and that will let you out. Again, the views in that room, I, I like this location for the Crown Lounge. I think that it is a really cool location to be at. Some people don't appreciate it, but it does give you that view of the aft section of the ship, which I just personally like. It is, it's almost like a foggy view because of that glass or plexiglass, whatever it is, but it is still a really um, nice, bright kind of experience. And if you're doing the show in the aqua, aqua area, you'll be able to see that as well. Continuing up, you see they have art from all over the world. But here on deck 14, you're gonna have the card room. So I'll show you that quickly, and then we're gonna jump actually to the front section of the ship. So this to me is just a really nice library. But you see they've got plenty of tables. You've got your business center, so if you need to print something out, you can do that here. Still need to be able to log into the internet to do that, but plenty of computers. Lots of tables to be able to enjoy. Some of them already designed. And they do have some games here. So if you forgot to bring a game, maybe it's raining one day and you need something to do, they're gonna have you covered. All right, so now we're in 14 aft. I wanna take you to the view on the forward section of the ship. That is where the wing is gonna be. So it is the sun deck. So to get there, you've gotta walk through all these staterooms. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come right back. All right, so welcome to the deck 14 sun deck. Now, as you can see, she is not listed here on the map, and I don't know why that is, if it was an afterthought or what happened there, but it is a fun place, especially if you wanna do some good pictures with the ship. Maybe you're making your Christmas cards here. I highly recommend coming out here. By the way, they're also gonna have a restroom up here, which is super weird, because you've got just staterooms all the way down here, but if you're hanging out up here getting some sun on the sun deck, as one does, you're gonna need somewhere to go. Be careful on that ledge there. It's also one of the larger ones on the ship. But this is just a really neat spot. So they've got some lounge chairs up here if you wanna come, relax, hang out. I'll see if I can show you what's called a wing. So this is the wing of the ship. It is on Oasis class ships where it sticks out. So you can come over here and get amazing views of the ship. There's a crew area down there. You have the lifeboats, which I always think adds really neat yellow element to any picture you're taking. And you can see in the distance there, Hideaway Beach that is in the process of being built and made. There is no exit on the other side of this. And by the way, if you are here, you're getting full on view from the solarium. We're gonna go up there just in one second. And you've got the helipad down here, which is off limits to people on um, the Oasis class ships. It is for crew only. So I'm gonna come back in. This does wrap all the way around, but I'm now gonna go up to deck 15. We're in the forward section ship. I'm gonna walk towards the back. Hit that button to exit, and I will see you on deck 15 in the aft section of the ship for the sports section, sports complex. All right, welcome to the sports complex, the view, the back deck. It's got a few different names back here, but you've got a wonderful golf course here, which I think is probably one of the more creative ones on board the ship. You're also gonna have ping pong and table tennis. Coming over, you've got your zip line. So if you want a zip line from here, all the way to the other side, it is not that far. Um, you can do that, it is, I believe it's complimentary still. It was last time I was here. But you've got views, I'll show you how this ship is kind of split in half. You've got one side and the other side. And down below, you're gonna see you have the aqua theater and the boardwalk that we were just at. So continuing to walk back here, I'll show you what all is back here. If you want a cool, sign, or cool picture with the Allure of the Sea surfboard, that's a neat spot. But you're gonna have the flow riders up here. So there are two of them on this ship that you'll be able to take advantage of. You do need to sign a waiver and meet height requirements and age requirements in order to do this. They've got some seating. So if you wanna come and watch somebody do it or you just wanna hang out, you can do that. Watch everybody fall. Who doesn't love a good fall? You can do that there. Coming back here, you'll see we are in Coco Cay today. There is the beautiful Coco Cay. We are here with the Liberty of the Seas, so it's probably a wee little bit crowded over there. And you're also gonna have the Wipeout Bar over here. So if you wanna grab a drink up here on the aft section of the ship, that is a cool spot to be able to come and hang out at. We're gonna come back down this way. You see that there's the second flow rider. 
and we'll wave to the Liberty of the Seas. She's also one that is needing a little bit of work done to her, a little bit of amplification, if you will, uh, but still a great ship. If you want to go there and have a good time, you can. Earlier this morning, this was actually, it's now a basketball court, it can be a soccer court. They were actually doing, um, oh, I'm blanking on the name here, pickleball. They were playing pickleball out here earlier. That seems to be sweeping the nation. I still don't understand it, but pickleball is a thing. If you're staying in one of the Crown Loft suites, just know they are beautiful. They're my favorite ship or stateroom in the entire fleet. They're gonna be up here. You've got some right here, which are overlooking the boardwalk, and then you've got some that are ocean view. Um, and so the ocean view one's gonna cost a little bit more money, but you can do that. Coming under this music here, we'll say hi to Amy since she's here. Hey there, Amy. Hi. You've got El Loco Fresh. So this is on this ship. I know we had some questions when we were coming here, if it was here or not. This is a fan favorite on an Oasis class, mainly because they've got a lot of seating. So it's easy to be able to grab your food and eat. It's gonna be served inside, but it will be buffet style. So you're able to go in there, grab your fajita, grab your meats, your cheeses, your salsa, your guacs, and all that's gonna come to you from there. And it is super easy, not tough to get at all. You're also gonna have a lot of seating around here. So if you're looking for a place to sit, just keep on walking. They have a lot of cushion seats, which I appreciate. The blue ones here, they're not horrible, but they're not my favorite. I enjoy a good cushioned seat so that I can sit there for long periods of time. Coming a little bit farther. Oh, we've got a shop over here. I'll just quickly turn if you forget sunscreen. They got some logo merchandise, things like that in there. Same stuff you can find on deck five. So if it's closed, you'll find it somewhere else. Hi. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. You've got your first pool. So again, this is a dual hangout spot. So you've got, I'm gonna come stand up over here for a little bit. You've got pools on the other side too. So there's pools over here and over there. This is the kids pool or the baby splash zone. So we'll keep walking. They're gonna have plenty of bars out here as well. This is the sand bar. See what they did there? If you want a towel, you're gonna come and hang out with these people. They will give you a towel. You do check those out. Failure to return it is a $25 fee. You've also got life vests. So if you are coming with kiddos, you don't have to bring a life vest. They will give you one of those to swim in. They're gonna have lifeguards at all these pools. They were actually doing some practice drills earlier, which is always fun to see. Kind of raises a little bit of an alarm to start with, but you kind of get used to it. Um, and I've learned that they're just doing drills most of the time, especially when they're recording it. You've got a pool that's designed to be like a beach over here. So if I'm coming to a pool, this is probably where I'm gonna be, number one. You got a little bit of extra shade with the umbrellas here, which is a nice touch. You don't see that on a lot of cruise ships pools, but they've got a ton of actual pools. So they try to give you shade because if everybody was sat out there, you wouldn't have any shade. The other thing that I'll mention is you see on the other side, you've got your stadium seating as I call it. So if you want some really good people watching and you don't mind being directly in the sun on the other side of that hot tub, that's where you can hang out at. Traditionally, those sections are gonna be reserved for um, Pinnacle and Suite members, but I've not seen that happen on this ship just yet. You're gonna have one of the large hot tubs over here. They are massive. I hate to think if this was gonna be a weekend cruise, how many people can get over there? Because I feel like we gravitate towards our hot tub on these weekend cruises. We love them. Coming through, you're gonna have this solarium, which is a beautiful spot. And on the Lord of the Seas, it's gonna be a little bit different here you're gonna have what's called an open solarium. So as you look up, the glass does not fully enclose this area. You're gonna have gaps in it, which I personally love because it's gonna give you a breeze. You're gonna be able to breathe in here. It's not gonna feel as stuffy and humid because of that. But you'll see, you can walk around here. They're gonna have hot tubs as well. They're gonna have a little bit of a pool over here. Amy trying to find her perfect hot tub. And you're gonna see where we just were. So this is the other wing out here. So if you wanna go out there and get some pictures, looks like they're putting some new varnish on it for you. So that'll work out well. And you're gonna have the other side, which looks the exact same with a little bit of a pool that's there as well. This here directly in front of you is the restaurant that is gonna serve breakfast in the morning. And it's a Brazilian steakhouse. I am blanking on 
the name of it for some reason. I don't know why my mind is not working for that. But breakfast, if you don't want to go to the buffet, if you want something that's super easy and quick, they're going to have plenty of food for you here. And very similar items, so a little bit lower. Somebody told me they have more, if you like omelets, that's going to be the place to go because they have more fixings for your omelets here. But then it turns into a Brazilian steakhouse, which is an upcharge in the evening. You're going to have the upper level now of the solarium. This is deck 16 that we just came to. So we'll walk this way. There's, you know what, I really like this seating section here. Not many people actually use that seating section, but I think that it's a super nice spot. You've got your bar here. This fills up more in the afternoon, I think, because you do hear the water out there. You get to be outside, but also in the shade. But there's plenty of seating up here if you want to come and enjoy some mountains. What's that? Oh, thank you, you too. Oh, you got some of our divers that are outside. So crew members, depending on their rank, do get to use some of the facilities from time to time. So it's always nice to see them out and about enjoying themselves. This will give you a good view of the other side of the ship. We'll come back. So you're gonna see directly behind me, we're gonna jump back to this in a second. This is the sweet deck up above. So we're gonna come back and feature that. It's probably one of our last items because I wanna come down here and show you the buffet first and the remaining sections of the pool. So yeah, this stadium seating here, it's wide open. So if you wanna come and get stadium seating, have wonderful people watching in the pool, that's gonna be a really good spot for you. You're also gonna have the sky bar up here. So wherever you go on a cruise ship, you will not be that far away from a bar, I assure you. Quick disclaimer on these beds here, they look super comfortable. They're normally extremely hot. <laughs> that pleather um, warms up nicely. So you may not want to sit there. If you do, make sure you're putting a pillow down, not a pillow, excuse me, a towel down to protect yourself a little bit. But if we keep walking back, we're gonna come to the Windjammer. The Windjammer is gonna have two different sections to it. The food is identical on each side. So don't worry if you get directed to one side, to the other side. The food is the exact same. But you will want to walk all the way to the back of it. That is where the good food is at. Normally they keep the higher cuts of meats, the better entrees, in the very back. So you're going to want to check that out. And it's probably about lunchtime now, so we'll walk in, see who all's in here, and show you some of the food that they're serving on board. I'm gonna sneak past this rail here just to show you. You're gonna have a hand washing station over here on the left, which I really appreciate that they do that. We're in Coco Cay today, so this is not fully open yet. There's not gonna be that many people on the ship. Even though it's an Oasis class ship, tons of people here, they're gonna not have that many people on board. They're all gonna be eating on the island. But this is the setup of all the food that is here. And you see they got those doors shut, and since there's people in here, I won't go through there but they've got a good amount of tables. They've got even more tables towards the back. But you'll see they have different stations in here. I find the Oasis class one's a little bit odd to be able to navigate, if you will. Not always the most intuitive um, to know where the food is at. And I think these little stations create more lines than I've seen on other ships. Coming back out. So we are on deck 16 aft now. That was your Windjammer Marketplace. What I want to do, they make this a little bit complicated when you're walking the stairs. You got to come through here to go back up. But I'm going to walk up the large staircase here to our suite section. So I'm going to show you Coastal Kitchen and the Suite Lounge. They are two different spaces, but they are in the same space. So if I come up here and make a right, I go into the Suite Lounge. Come up here, make a left, I'm going to go into Coastal Kitchen. Both of them are the same room. But I think this also allows different key card access. I'm not sure if you all have heard, and they're looking at who has access to, I would say all the different lounges are in question, as well as who can eat at Coastal Kitchen with crown and anchor status with Royal Caribbean. This door does not automatically open, but you can have your concierge over here. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'll come back up and say hi later. So you've got your concierges there that are fantastic because always nice to see friendly faces on a cruise ship. But this is the suite lounge section. As always, 
There's a coffee machine up here. It is the favorite thing that everybody has. They've got some cookies up here. They don't really do a lot of the sandwiches anymore. I don't think anybody really ate them, and so they took those away, and it's just now cookies. You've got Coast, Coastal Kitchen on the other side. This is a fun bar, too. I mean, beautiful views, if you can see it with all the light. Hey, guys. But this is a gorgeous spot. Again, if you want to people watch, be in some air conditioning, you can come here. And you're going to have the Coastal Kitchen on this side where Sweets, Pinnacle members, some of the times can come and eat. It is different food than your main dining room and is considered a step up, but is included in your fare. And again, got to press a button to get out. All right, so we are on deck 17 now. I'm going to cut, I think the only thing we have not seen is that sweet deck. So I'm going to cut the camera and we're going to go back over to the sweet deck and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we're now back at the reserved deck, which is your sweet deck. This is where Star, Sky, Class, and Pinnacle members can come. Throw the door in there, and then the door. Throw the key in there, and the door pops open. So I'll walk you upstairs, show you what comes into the reserved deck. The first thing that comes up here that I love, cushions. I talked about these earlier. For me, they make a world of difference. Love my cushions. You're gonna have your sweet sun zone, which is a bar. You've got a space over here that you can hang out and get some shade as well. Coming around to the side, even more chairs. You're gonna have some tables up here. Beautiful views overlooking Central Park. All of the pools. So you can really start to see how big this ship is from up here. I mean, she is just enormous compared to the other ones. You can also see You've got Liberty of the Seas, which is a freedom class, which is one, two classes down from where you've got Quantum, and then you've got the Void, the freedom class. It's gonna be over there, and you see how much taller we are and bigger we are than that ship. You're also gonna have some areas over here that you can sit, again, with what looks like new cushions. I don't think I've seen this style, or maybe they're just old and they've cleaned them up. You can have some restrooms up here for yourself, even more seating there. And then if you want views of the solarium, the front of the ship, you can come up here. And then we're gonna have a few cabanas, places that you can hang out up here as well. So I'll pop into one of these. I believe these are first come first serve if I had to guess. They might be part of a suite program, but I'm not thinking that that's the case. I see somebody with hopefully a wet bathing suit was there, but it's just a nice little private area Say it's private, everybody down here can see you. Um, but it's still hopefully a fun area to hang out. A little bit quiet, a little bit relaxing. Walking around to the other side, you'll see there's a shower there. And on some of the Oasis class ships, you can have a hot tub up here, but there's no pool feature to the suite deck here on Allure of the Seas. Well, there you have Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. This is probably gonna be the longest ship tour that I've ever done, so thank you for hanging in there. If you've made it to this conclusion, thank you, because this is the largest ship that I've ever covered, and I walked as quick as I could, but there's a ton to see on here, so you are one step ahead of everybody else because you are learning the ship layout. If you were here for three and four days, again, it is going to fly by. Make sure you're getting reservations for all the shows. You know where you're going, and you will thank yourself once you get here. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.